The Philippines is a country with more than 7,000 large and small islands located in the west of the Pacific Ocean. This country, which essentially consists of three main land parts, has a total surface area of 300,000 square kilometers and a total of 111 million people live in this land area. In line with these data, people for the Philippines are if we look at the country on the map, we can clearly define it as a geography where the population is very dense. We can clearly see that it has no land connection with any country. Another issue related to the geography of the country is that the Philippines is located in the center of the Pacific earthquake zone and is therefore very prone to natural events such as tsunami. It has such a structure that there are about 20 earthquakes every day in the depths of the oceans right next to the country. In fact, about 30 years ago, a devastating earthquake of 7.7 .7 magnitude occurred on the monsoon mainland of the Philippines. The capital of the Philippines is Manila, where there is a lot of chaos. The capital is Manila. There is so much to tell about the country that soon you will witness the depths of the lives of the people there with your own eyes. If you want to visit this country full of mysteries and extraordinary lives, do you not encounter any visa problems for a period not exceeding 30 days? It is possible to take direct flights to the capital Manila by going out. The Philippines, like many South Asian countries, is a geography that has been subjected to various exploitations throughout history. Today, the Philippines is struggling with such great poverty that a significant majority of the people in the country live in the forests or live in the middle of the sea. For example, the Bajau people in the Philippines, namely sea gypsies have a special life in the middle of the sea. In these folk expressions, there are thousands of Filipino people who learn to swim before walking, as well as thousands of Filipino people who live by collecting coconuts in the forests or making a living by producing charcoal. So, come, come to the Philippines, from the streets to prisons, from those who eat garbage on the ground to the sea. Let's take a comprehensive journey to the families living in the middle of nowhere. If you take a stroll through the bazaar in the country of the Philippines, you can see that both the houses and the shops are faded and worn out, and that people are struggling with poverty. For example, many details in the environment give the impression of being the result of disorganization and disarray. People's belongings in the streets. It is blowing in all directions and the surroundings look quite dirty. The gray tones of the sky have become intertwined with the brown tones of the shacks, creating the unique atmosphere of the Philippines. When you walk a little further and start to come across people, you notice a detail about them. With a population of over 110 million, people who earn less than $5 a day are quite busy. You see that they are overweight and have meat and legs. This may be due to the fact that they eat everything they come across. People are literally smiling and happy when they buy and eat something from the mobile stalls. I think one of the most obvious things that makes life happy in the Philippines is eating, especially children, who immediately eat everything cheap they see. Also, since the weather is quite humid and hot most of the year, you can see that people often wear ordinary undershirts, and underneath they usually wear shorts like clothes. When you see them, you can understand that Filipino people are generally brown-skinned, dark-skinned, and have slanted eyes, just like in every South Asian country. You can come across people selling vegetables and fruits on the roadside and in the streets at any time. Supermarket Shopping Mall Culture is not common in the Philippines, and people get their needs from the tradesmen on the roadside. Another day, as you continue to drive on the country's city line, the vehicles used to attract your attention, as in other Asian countries. Simple means of transportation have been developed. The high population density and the poverty of the majority have led people to use motorcycles. People play hockey-style games in the streets and chat with each other. I have to say that the interactions between local people are quite strong in the Philippines. People in countries where low income is high, they live in need of each other and they need to keep good relations with each other, especially in people living in forests, mountains, and oceans. You will see this more and more. If you gather your courage and move through the narrow roads, between the shacks and the city, you will feel more and more that people's real lives are difficult and primitive. At every step, there are dozens of children, adults are both shy and shy. He looks at you with strange eyes. There is laundry hanging on the walls, and the pain of many houses has faded. These houses made of stones look like structures that are at least 40 years old. If Filipino people see you with a camera and understand that you are a tourist, 
they come to you and start asking for money. Minimum wage and average earnings in the country right now, it costs around $260 for $111 million. In fact, it is not bad at all compared to the population of 111 million. But despite this, the people are hungry all the time. More than 80% of the people are Christians. In addition, English is accepted as the official language in the country, as well as Filipino. When it gets dark, it is the day of the day. We are witnessing that it is not over yet. People are setting up mobile shops on both sides of the streets and they are trying to sell things and earn money. There are always people passing by, especially children, and when they pass you, they make eye contact with you and this creates strange feelings in you. So much so that at that moment, Mr. Any, it comes with dozens of recommendations to help you avoid any problems. For example, turning the bag you carry on your back upside down and carrying it in front of you. The products you see on the stalls mostly consist of street delicacies and utensils specific to the Philippines. You should not approach meat products in street food. You should not immediately approach meat products. It can also be a field mouse. The number of children in the cities of the Philippines is so high. You watch with astonishment how many children lie on the roadsides, climb here and there, and run all the time. This situation is especially high in the capital Molina. More than 30,000 children live alone on the streets in the capital. This is the case in the Philippines. The fact that there are so many children is of course due to families' lack of resources, since children are seen as a source of employment. Almost every couple has as many children as they can. Some of these children die of hunger and lack of hygiene. Some of them fall into bad ways, and some of them take care of their families. The most important reason for the increase in poverty is uncontrolled proliferation. This is happening and that's why crime rates are increasing. Maybe the state may impose a restriction on having children for people in the Philippines. Simply put, thousands of children in the country have never gone to school in their lives. Many of them are either in prison or eliminated by the police for reasons such as murder and theft. Because state forces are fighting against overpopulation, it is not possible to find solutions to these problems through civil means. Many people, especially children, regardless of age and gender, disappear unknownly. In addition, gang crimes in the Philippines have increased greatly in recent years. If you mix with the local people there, you will suddenly find yourself in the hands of the gang. Of course, in a country where poverty is at its core and hopes are low, women are being dragged towards a life they do not want. While traveling around the Philippines, you can see many women working as prostitutes, meeting men and trying to get their money. Since there is no concept of hygiene in most parts of the country, the most widespread AIDS culture in the world is also in this geography. It runs rampant in people's bodies. Almost every person in the country suffers from malnutrition and lack of hygiene. For example, some people collect their food from garbage, go to garbage dumps and carefully sort out the food residues in the garbage. Moreover, this is not a rare event. Dozens of people in the country heat the cooked food in the garbage tube and feed themselves with what they collect. If you look at the food carefully, you may notice that they are mostly crispy, chicken-style fast food products. The reason for this is due to chain companies such as McDonald's in the country. People in need of food in the Philippines concentrate on the places where chain restaurant markets throw away their garbage and fight for the leftover food from other people. If they see all the burgers among the boxes, they will be extremely happy. They are choking because burgers are not hard to eat like meats with bones and do not require any cleaning. There is no doubt that these people are unlucky from birth. When you talk to people who collect food from garbage dumps, they get emotional easily. They are probably aware that the situation they are in is not good, but they have no choice but to swallow their pride to survive. I'm sure many of you feel lucky when you see these lives in the Philippines. The population in the country has exploded so much in recent years that most of the people have turned public cemeteries into their homes. In other words, they live with the dead. Filipino people so much so that if you go to the cemeteries there, you can see makeshift huts and families right next to the cemeteries. Well, what? Do you think people who want to escape from the city life of the Philippines, full of difficulties and dangers, can do in this country? Many Filipino citizens who have lost hope in the cities today live a primitive village life on the country's perfect beaches or in the lush forests. For example, this tribe is focused on coconuts in the forests and makes its living from coconuts. Despite the danger, 
they climb to the top of the trees and pluck the food from their branches. They keep some of the walnuts they collect for themselves and sell some of them to the markets in the cities. The most common food that the forest people eat at meals is, of course, white rice. There is nothing that grows more in South Asian countries than white rice, and this is a blessing for them. It is a tremendous source of nutrition for humans. They can stay full for a long time by consuming only rice porridge without needing any other food. The main way people show love to each other is to remove the lice from their hair in the forest huts where they stay. Since almost all of the forest people have lice, if you remove the lice from the hair of someone there, they will be grateful to you, perhaps in the country. The most notable local community in the region is the people known as the Sea Gypsies. Like the people known as the Sea Gypsies, they also have an indispensable animal species in their lives. The people of Bacau, instead of dealing with the misery in the city, thought wisely and devoted themselves to the sea life. Undoubtedly, the most important elements in their lives are the fish and their boats. In the 90s, the Philippine state, even though Bacalan built public housing to accustom the people to local life, they threw themselves onto the seashores and returned to their original lives. They live in what they built on the sea and are largely disconnected from the course of modern life. Children learn to fish instead of going to school. For example, when a child turns five, he jumps off the boat in the middle of the sea and learns to swim. If he does not pass the exam, he will be considered eliminated at the beginning of the life exam. That is why children with legs do not have the luxury of being afraid of the sea. They must understand the language of the sea and develop their skills according to sea life. Fishing is so important to them that their lungs have developed accordingly. One leg of the fisherman is underwater with the harpoon in his hand. They can stay for four minutes. Since they do not have any oxygen tanks, they have to hunt by holding their breath and glide like a fish under the sea. The sea goggles, Harpoons and flippers they use are all manufactured by themselves. They have built small cities on the sea, so to speak. They have legs. They eat every living thing that comes out of the sea without thinking. Octopus, scorpion and crab. And more sea creatures are the key to survival for these sea gypsies. Moreover, it would be really strange to expect them to choose food for a society that builds their homes in the seas to escape starvation. The only thing that worries them in the region they live in today is not finding fish. The region is a region of great earthquakes and the most deadly at unexpected times. They may be exposed to destruction. If there is a big earthquake in the ocean or if they are exposed to a tsunami, both their shack houses and themselves may be dragged towards extinction. In short, the life of people in the Philippines is really difficult. Living with a crowded population in an underdeveloped country has increased poverty and crime rates. If you like the video and we would be happy if you subscribe to the channel. Bye bye.